Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Music Gallery at Home on this April 24th, 7 o'clock p.m. edition. Uh, this is the second one of our performances uh, featuring Naomi McCarroll Butler uh, responding to Xuan Yi's uh, score and with other works as well. Uh, I'm Artistic Director David Dax. Uh, nice to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Uh, before we start, I'd like to acknowledge the land on which the Music Gallery operates. It's been a site of human activity for 15,000 years plus. This land is the territory of the Wendat, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Anishinaabek Nation, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. The territory is the subject of the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, which is an agreement between the Haudenosaunee Confederacy and the Confederacy of the Ojibwe and Allied Nations to peaceably share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. Today, the meeting place of Toronto is still home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island and around the world. As part of this community and as individuals, it's up to us to recognize our privileges in this space and to educate ourselves further along the way. Uh, I'd also like to thank our uh, funders at this time, um, Canada Council for the Arts, Ontario Arts Council, Toronto Arts Council, SOCAN Foundation, Department of Canadian Heritage, and Ontario Creates. Uh, our funders have actually been extremely flexible, uh, following the lead you know, general tone of uh, many of our uh, provincial and federal governments in uh, being flexible when it comes to working with the particular income situations of artists. So uh, we're very, very fortunate to be able to offer this programming at this time. And now to introduce the main event tonight, Naomi McCarroll Butler is a saxophonist, a clarinetist and composer from Toronto. She can be found making a wide range of music from the full-throated tones of the saxophone duo Salt to the barely whispered songs of Decoration Day. Naomi's work is concerned with a variety of musical, social, political, and psychological issues, including the liminality and ecstasy of trans embodiment, spirituality, and connection to nature, loss, and renewal, and our fluid perception of the passage of time. Naomi plays with improvising unit Never Was, the Queer Songbook Orchestra, Inge's Tortoise Orchestra, Nicky van der Voort's Contraband Collective, the Cohen Hammond Chamber Ensemble, Dan Pitt Quintet, the Element Choir, and various ad hoc ensembles. She's an active collaborator and has been featured on 18 recordings in the last five years on various woodwinds. In fact, I think the last time that I saw Naomi was uh, working the door at the Women From Space Festival in which she participated as well. Uh, she's on the scene, uh, no stranger to 918 Bathurst having participated in the Toronto Creative Music Lab a couple of years ago. In 2019, Naomi participated in the Bath Centre International Woodshop in jazz and creative music, where she studied with Matna Roberts, Amir El Safar, Taishan Sori, Steve Lehman, well, uh, among others. Uh, she's also attended workshops in community engaged arts with Jumbly's Theatre, participated in the, uh, as I mentioned, the Toronto Creative Music Lab, and has been a composer and performer, uh, studied at Humber College. So, uh, long and distinguished resume, but uh, that only gets us to the very beginning of the introduction. And I'm um, very, very curious to see what she does with Chouinier's Even a Blind Squirrel Finds a Nut Once in a While. Please take it away, Naomi.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Small technical difficulty. Give me a moment. Thanks. Sorry.
Thank you, everybody. Thanks to the Music Gallery for having me here. And thanks to all of you for tuning in. Thanks to Shrani for the beautiful piece, the fun meme piece. Uh, even a blind scroll finds a nut every once in a while. And thanks to Cohen Hammond for the solo bass clarinet piece. Uh, good words are hard to find. Um, wishing you all wellness and happiness as much as possible in this weird time. Okay, be well and take care.